So the last part is something to help you a little bit in your homework. So what we have in the pictures, in the picture you remember we have these three Marvels, we have B, A and C, but unfortunately B Marvel fall out of the picture. So let's uh, delete it. Fall and somebody put another Marvel in the same location, which is going to be capital B. So let's fix this one to B, B. And we don't know what is the charge. We don't have a clue what is the charge right now. But if I change this Marvel, which means if I change the game of charges in this question, so I don't know what is the forces anymore, but they give me some data. They tell me that after they change this one, now we have QB with unknown sign and unknown I put it white, but I didn't say it's, a, it's the same sign. It could be whatever it wants to be. Um, so let's do a double sphere. So double sphere is unknown. Okay. So what they telling me, telling me that as a result, as a result, result uh, of placing, placing marble, marble B, a marble A start to roll to roll only at a on only on the y axis. So what's the given data? They give they tell us that now Marvel, this Marvel moved only in this direction or in this direction, not on this one, not this one or not this one. So they're actually telling me something about the force, right? So the force that apply on A, this total force on A, let's do normal F, force on A is we know we have some subcontact X, some Y, this is belong to A, right? And they tell me there is no force in the x direction. It's equal to zero. So I can use this data to solve the question. The question is what is the charge on B? Sorry if I didn't mention it before. So how I can solve it? I know that there is two contributor to this value, which is C on A and this new marvel B on A. So I can use this idea. Let's put it into the equation. So we know that the force is Q, QB, QA divided by the magnitude of the vector, which you already calculated is five to the three, right? We have here the X component of the direction, right? Plus K minus uh, QC, Right, QC, QA, QA, 10 to the third, right? And this is 3, and this is minus 8, minus 8. So I know the two forces that apply. This is the force that C apply, and this is the force that B apply, the new one. I didn't put the charges. Okay, so it's true for that and that. And I know that this, this is the only x direction. You see here, you saw here that I didn't put two values, not x and y, I put only x, right? This three and this eight, right? Three and eight. And I know that this one equal to zero. There is no movement in the x direction. So what I can do, you see that first of all, I can get rid of this k. I can get rid of this qa. You see that the charge in A does not matter. Okay, it's a P here and here, I can divide it, and I can clean this up and have some connection, correlation between QB and QC, and we already know QC, so we can find it. So the idea of the last section was to let you know how I can go with these ideas of questions and take it farther. So these kind of questions are, can be pretty direct forward, you know, just have the equation, solve it, done. A uh, way to complicate that is to use physics one. You see, I use something about the forces, 
of the mechanics, you know that there's no movement, maybe I can give you the acceleration or the mass of the particle, so I can use physics 2, uh, physics 1 inside physics 2, but don't worry, it's not gonna be the main focus of these kind of questions. Uh, another thing that you can be uh, can be take to uh, lift the lift the challenge of these questions uh, could be could be also uh, could be also to take it for other dimensions. You see that here in the it's two dimensions. In the warm up, I gave you one dimension, right? This is two dimensions, and it can be three dimensions. Uh, it's not that. Uh, uh, that common in this class because the math gets a little bit nasty so we don't need uh, you know to go that far away the concept is pretty clear in the one and the two dimensions but it's also important to know where we can take this question uh, also so you're gonna see it in your homework and you're ready to do the homework that's relevant to Coulomb's law and the Coulomb force good luck <laughs>